you start us off with your name and the school? Jay Spoonauer, Eastern Illinois University. Right, Coach Spoonauer, can you give us some general thoughts on your team for this upcoming season? Our team for this upcoming season, we've got two guys back who have played any minutes really at all. Um, Josh Piper played and, and a kid named Austin Akers both played. Uh, aside from that, we don't have anybody who's ever really played in a Division I game that, you know, that's done a whole lot. So we have a lot of guys who are really excited. We have a lot of guys who are fired up. A lot of guys don't have any idea what's going on, which is a little bit like the situation I'm in. So we really fit together really well. All right, what do you like most about your team this year? They all listen. And, you know, the thing is, is that we – we are enthusiastic about what we're doing. Guys are trying, and they and I think that everybody has the idea that they're going to play. And and I think they're probably right. I think everybody on our team has the ability to come in and, and get some time and contribute. And so, you know, that's that's always the thing that if you can get, regardless of what kind of talent level you have, regardless of how tall you are, how fast you are, if you have everybody on your team thinking that they're going to play and wanting to contribute and trying to listen, then you're going to be all right. I mean, I don't know that you're going to go out there and set the world on fire, you know, uh, but I, I do think that you'll at least be difficult for people to beat, and that's sort of where we're sitting at right now is we just want to make it, we don't want to contribute to people beating us. We want to try to make it hard for us to, hard, hard for folks to figure out a way to get us. Coach, you kind of touched on your lack of experience. Would you say that's your biggest challenge for this upcoming year, or are there any other challenges? No, I'd say our biggest challenge is figuring out a way to make a basket. I don't think that, I mean, I think that ball is ball and I've been around for a little while uh, just like our guys have all been around they've played it and, and and you know having experience is a terrific thing but guys have all played they'll they'll have experience after about two or three games and then that won't be a discussion anymore uh, I think the biggest challenge is we have a lot of guys who are similar guys we have guys that try real hard real tough want to do things right want to go rebound we don't make very many we don't make very many plays, so we're going to have to figure out a way to kind of manage that. What do you think about the Ohio Valley Conference as a whole this year? Well, I think it's very good every year. I think it has been for the last five years, and I think that now with the addition of Belmont, it gets twice as hard is, is the reality of it. You've taken the league where whatever it was, and you've doubled the difficulty for everybody other than Belmont and Murray. If you're Eastern Illinois in the last few years, if you're any of the schools, Jack State, Moorhead, whoever it is, your, your ticket to go to the NCAA tournament was to win the conference title, win the, win the tournament. Well now, and you could do that if maybe somebody would upset Murray or you could upset Murray in the finals. Well now you're gonna play Murray in the semis and then you're gonna have to beat Belmont or you'll have to sw swap it around. It makes it twice as hard and, and that's the reality of, of what it is. It's going to raise the level for everybody. We all know what we have to do. We know the kind of players we have to have. And that can't help. In, I mean, that can't be anything but helpful for all of us. Um, the OVC is going to uh, d divisions this year. How is that going to affect your team in the league overall? I don't have anything to compare it to because I haven't. Uh, this is my first year. So I think it's. I've been in leagues that have divisions, that all of them are going to that. You know, for me, I really liked it when you were playing people twice and, and because I just like the balanced schedule that everybody plays the same people. Um, that's, the only, that's the only thing that it'll, it'll impact when you get into the, whether you get into the conference tournament will be impacted by that. Your seed in the conference tournament will be impacted by that. That's the, you know, that's the only drawback to it. I understand the reason for it. It's, you know, the number of games you would have to play would be numerous. Obviously, what will it take for your team to reach all of its goals this season? To say it again, I'm sorry. Uh, what will it take for your team to reach all of its goals this year? Um, you know, you have all. Every team has different goals. Our goal right now, our main goal, the thing we talked about the first time we came in together, was we want to try to get to the conference tournament. I mean, we haven't made the conference tournament uh, consistently over the last few years, and so that's what the goal is. In order for us to do that, guys are going to have to start figuring out how to play together, and they may have to take things out of their game that they're used to having. They may have to learn to play with other guys that they're not used to doing. They're, I'm going to have to coach a little differently. They're going to have to play a little differently if, if we're going to do what we want.
Last question, Coach. Uh, tell us a little bit about your non-conference schedule. Are there any games that excite you? Um, excite is a strange word. It's, a, it's got a lot of different meanings. There's the, the, probably the best team that we play is St. Louis University. They'll be, I, mean, I don't know, they're in the top 10. Um, aside from that, there's a, we, we play really, really good teams, and when we play some teams that are comparable to us. Um, so when I mean, you've got, like I think Toledo's a very good team. We have them at our place. We have Western Illinois at our place. I know they're a good team. Um, so those are really difficult games, but we do have them at home. Uh, the, there are other games like Central Arkansas and IPFW and Texas Pan American that are all teams that are similar to us in similar situations. So uh, I think it's probably good, especially since we have those games early. All right, Coach, that is it. Thank you. For your you time. got it. Thank you.